Okay, now that we're done screen printing, now it's time to remove the ink and then remove the stencil. The first step is wear safety equipment, like rubber gloves, glasses, whatever it need be, because this is a messy step. You want to remove that ink. Today we're using Chroma Screen Wash. Okay. You want to get as much of this ink off as you can. Get the red. Now, make sure you do both sides. Now, all you have to do Next step is to remove the stencil. I'm using a Chroma Strip Plus, it's called. It comes either a concentrate or a full strength. And you don't have to use it in this container. You can buy these at a hardware store or wherever. It's just a, a pump. It just makes life a little bit easier. What you do is you just squirt it onto the screen. Do both sides of the screen. Normally you don't want to reclaim just one screen at a time. You're going to uh, reclaim a couple or, or more. What I like to do is put the reclaimer on, lay the screen down flat, put another screen right on top, put the reclaimer on, let it sit for a few minutes. But whatever you do, never ever let this reclaimer dry on your screen with the emulsion. If you let it dry, really the only way you're going to get that screen cleaned is with a razor blade. You have to cut it out. It really locks that emulsion and you can't get it out. See how it's starting to break down already. So this has been sitting a while. As you can see, the emulsion is starting to break down really good. Alright, now I am going to use something very noisy. Okay, now after uh, you got most of the emulsion off, you may notice there's a few spots that may need a little bit more reclaimer put on there, or else it's just a stain that's going to be there. Uh, it is possible to get rid of a lot of the staining, especially the next step, which is a little more uh, difficult. That's using a haze remover, which actually will break that down. However, a haze remover, if you use it wrong, will eat your mesh. So you've got to follow the directions closely. This is called Ghostbuster Haze Remover. This works great at removing a, a residual emulsion or residual inks that are on the screen. Works really good. Again, make sure you're wearing rubber gloves, eye protection, or whatever. In order to use this, what you do is you take a, a brush and you put it on the screen, especially in the areas where it's stained, like right here. Let it set for maybe up to seven minutes. The higher the mesh count, the tighter the mesh, the shorter time you should have it on your screen. If it's on too long, it will pop your screen. Okay, the next step is this screen's got to be degreased. You put a lot of chemicals on there, whatever. You got to make sure those chemicals get off so you have a nice clean screen. Where I'm using Chroma Wet Degreaser Adhesion Promoter. Now I use a brush. What I want to do is just see how it's foaming. To me, that means it's working. It doesn't foam. I don't think it's working. Sometimes, if you don't degrease the screen, you just think it's clean enough and you just put it in a dryer after you reclaim it. Sometimes that reclaimer or whatever was on the screen will actually cause the emulsion to pull away and you get fish eyes all over your screen. You don't want fish eyes. That's pretty good. Now I'll just take a garden hose and rinse it off.
That is a clean screen.